today I'm going to teach you how to make my delicious apple pie cheesecake recipe. We're going to start off with the cheesecake part. So we're going to need three cream cheese packs, 24 ounces, one cup sugar, two eggs, one cup heavy cream, two pie crusts, two teaspoons ground cinnamon. This is the one I used. Half teaspoon ground nutmeg and then one teaspoon vanilla extract. After you have all your ingredients, make sure to preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. First step, we're going to get one of our apple pie crusts and try to evenly smooth it out at the bottom. Okay, so now I'm done with the pie crust and I just um, try to make it as best and like smooth as I could. Now we're going to put this to the side. So now I just put the three um, packs of cream cheese in here and we're going to go ahead and put our one cup of sugar and your ground cinnamon in here um. okay so right here we have our sugar ground cinnamon ground nutmeg and now all we need left is our one teaspoon vanilla extract Now we're going to add our one cup heavy cream. And then we're gonna mix it. In the next step with the eggs, I would really recommend doing one egg at a time and then mixing it. Um, as you can tell, I put two eggs, which made it a little bit more hard to mix together. Now that we're done with our cheesecake filling, we're going to go ahead and put it over our apple pie crust. So as you can tell right here, I tried to evenly spread it out throughout the pan. Now we're going to bake it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 hour and 20 minutes. After it's done baking, make sure to only turn your oven off, but let the cheesecake cool inside for at least 1 hour. So while our cheesecake cools down in the oven, we're going to start our apple pie layer. So we will need three apples, one cup water, one cup brown sugar, one teaspoon ground cinnamon, one teaspoon ground nutmeg, two tablespoons cornstarch. And this is optional, but I really enjoyed the flavor and I added one teaspoon vanilla extract. So right here I have my apples all cut. You can cut them as small as you would like. Now we're gonna go ahead and preheat the oven at 425 degrees. Make sure to take your cheesecake out right here. And then in a saucepan, we're gonna add our apples with our brown sugar, our water, our ground cinnamon and nutmeg. We're gonna mix that together and add our vanilla extract with the two tablespoons cornstarch. Put it like on medium heat and I would just move it around until the apples become soft, which would be around eight to 10 minutes. You'll know your apples are soft when you can press down on them and they start to break. So just keep touching your apples till they're ready after your apples are done cooking just take them off of the heat in a cool place and then we're just gonna start moving them around till they cool off okay guys so right now i am cooling down the apples until they get into like a very thick syrupy like right now you can tell it's getting thicker but we're gonna let it cool down. So just make sure you're moving it around. And then I have the oven um, in the back right now at 425 degrees, getting ready for the last step. So just make sure that it's um, cooled down. At the last pie crust, so remember two came in, the first one we put down. So, 
before where you can get creative on your own. Um, I usually just do um, the cookie cutters that I have. And this is gonna be the top decoration so you can get creative how I mentioned. Whatever you wanna do to your own pie. So I usually go in and I do the regular um, slices. And then I go in with these hard cookie cutters for decorations on top. And you guys will see how they come out right now. So right here, I just decided to do eight lines. I'm trying to cut them as straight as I could. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but just try your best. And um, you can do like zigzag lines or um, just get creative with it. I want to try doing like a braid pie next time. So hopefully it'll come out good. And right here I just have cookie cutters so I'm cutting out hearts. And after this you're going to have a little bit of leftover if you use cookie cutters. So I just go ahead and got a rolling pin and just cut out as much as I could. And as you can see right here I have all my stuff ready to go. After my apples cooled down a bit, I started placing them on top of the cheesecake. I tried to spread them out as evenly as I could. By the way, with the syrup, I put just a little bit, but I would recommend putting a little bit more. Just make sure it doesn't overflow the cheesecake. So right here, my husband is just helping me out, decorating the top of the pie. So right here we had to cut the end of the crust because it was too long. But then make sure to press down the crust over the rest of the cheesecake so it can kind of naturally glue down. Once you're done with that, you can decorate if you planned on decorating your pie with like random stuff or just leave it as it is. If you want a crispy pie crust make sure to put an egg wash over it just like brush it on the crust part and now we're going to bake this in the oven at 425 degrees for 25 minutes or until it's golden brown this is what my pie look like i'm sure yours will look a lot better this is my third time making this recipe but i was in the shower for a bit too long um it was still delicious to say the least this is my pie once it's cooled down i did finish it super late so i let it cool and then i put it in the fridge but this is the pie the next morning and this is when i cut it it was super good you guys if you guys try this recipe let me know what you think about it also make sure to like and subscribe for more recipes like this and i hope you guys enjoyed it see you in my next video bye